Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and there's been quite the controversy lately over whether an ACL needs to be injected with stem cells using ultrasound or whether you need fluoroscopy. And so the title of my talk today is, so you think a torn ACL can be injected with stem cells using ultrasound? Save that for the boys at the lodge. So we invented and have the world's largest experience with injecting ACL tears with stem cells to help patients avoid invasive ACL surgery. And there's a very nice published paper that seemed to show that you could inject an ACL with ultrasound and call it good. These were latex injections into 10 cadaver knees with ultrasound. This seemed to work to get the latex into the origin insertion. However, cadaver parts don't come with known ACL tears. And as we've seen time and time again, injecting normal ACLs from the bottom at the tibial insertion is pretty easy. You can see the stuff go all the way up like these knees. But once you get into ACL tears, it's a different world, baby. So since most of the physicians uh, that uh, this debate uh, is going back and forth with really don't have a lot of experience in injecting ACL both under ultrasound and fluoroscopy, I thought it'd be important to look at what I did today with a nationally ranked teenage tennis star's knee. She had an ACL tear, uh, needed stem cells. So this is the uh, original injection, it's about the third or fourth needle reposition. You can see my needle cut under a lateral fluoroscopy view. And the problem is from the bottom, this is all, all that this is all I could get. There's nothing going any higher than this. So we still have that much of the ACL to cover and anything else I inject at this point is just dumping out the back, which you can see there uh, uh, out right here. So the bottom line is now I've got to go to the ACL origin. So I've repositioned my needle to go to the ACL origin here, and I get a little bit more coverage up into this area right here. So I've got this and I've got that, but I don't have anything in the middle. So then I start trying to work, then I start trying to work on the middle. So as you can see here, I'm starting to get a little coverage up front uh, in the middle. And then a little bit more coming in here. And then finally, I, I get most of the way here. I'm also getting just a little bit of coverage right there, but most of it there. And I still have not been able to really pick up anything on this back uh, piece here. This is as much as I can get coverage uh, in that bundle. Now, if you look at it from the AP, you can see uh, that's my first needle position. And that's really all I can get, uh, again, coming from the bottom where you would normally come from on ultrasound. And then ultimately, this is what I end up with. So pretty good coverage considering how torn this ligament was. But I got to tell you, just injecting down here or trying to come from the back and, and doing this, there is no way this would have been covered. The bottom line is this was about 25 different needle positions over a 45 minute procedure to get the coverage I got. So the concept that you could get anything approaching this coming from the, uh, coming from the front, getting the tibial insertion, or coming from the back to get the uh, origin of the ACL, it's just not tenable at all. So in conclusion, there's no way to adequately inject this patient's ACL with stem cells under ultrasound. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, you'll get some stem cells into this ACL, but you're not going to get stem cells to cover the entire ligament. So uh, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.